Hello and welcome to your next MPA computing lesson. Last lesson, we looked at the input process output model, the print function to output data, and using variables as storage locations for values. If you need to review any of these concepts, please pause the video now and go watch lesson one to refresh. Today we're going to look at data types in computer programming. We will be successful if by the end of the lesson you can describe the four types of variables you'll use in MPA programming and implement them in our programming language, Lua. Remember to complete any task sheets on Google Classroom and turn them in and hand in assignments on Replit. We have four types of variables that we'll use at MPA level. A data type describes the kind of data being held and what sort of functions and operations we can use on them. A programming language Lua is known as a loosely typed language. This means that the type of variable will change based on the data that it holds. This is not true for other programming languages. The first type which we've already encountered is the string variable. A string variable holds any combination of printable characters such as letters, numbers and symbols. It's important to note that the data in a string variable must be stored inside a speech marks. In an example, we've given the string variable the meaningful identifier pupil name and assigned the value of Anakin Skywalker. The next data type is integer. An integer stores a whole number. That's a number without any decimal point. Unlike strings, we can do mathematical operations on integers. In an example, we've given the integer variable the meaningful identifier, pupil age, and assigned the value 13. Notice how we don't use speech marks for the value 13. The next data type is another type of number called a real number. A real number stores a number with a decimal point. Like integers, we can do mathematical operations on real numbers. In our example, we've given the real number variable the meaningful identifier, attendance percentage, and assigned the value 98.2. Notice how we do not use speech marks for the value 98.2. It's important now to note that while many programming languages see integers and real numbers as different data types, Lua doesn't. Finally, our last data type is Boolean. A Boolean value can be one of two values, true or false. Like strings, we can't do any maths on booleans. But unlike strings, the value true or false must not be wrapped in speech marks. In that example, we've given our boolean the meaningful identifier absent today, that is, whether or not a pupil is absent from school or not, and assigned the value true without speech marks. You'll see in the following code examples that all Lua variables begin with the keyword local. We'll get to why in a future lesson, but for now accept that we put the keyword first when making a variable. You'd still refer to the variable only by its identifier when using it, for example in the print function we would write print pupil name, not print local pupil name. Also in the code examples there will be no output, we're not printing anything out to the console. So we've already been using string variables, but without using the local keyword. To create a string variable in Lua, we should write local, then the identifier, or variable name, an equals sign, and then its value. In the example below, we've created a variable with the identifier pupil name, and assigned its value to Anakin Skywalker. Note that the string must be contained within speech marks. To create an integer, we assign a variable to a whole number using the equals sign. Notice in the example below, we do not wrap the value inside speech marks like a string. In the example below, we've created an integer variable with the identifier pupil age and the value 15. To create a real number, we assign a number with a decimal point to an identifier or variable name. In the example below, we've created a real number variable with the identifier pupil name and the value of 15.5. As a quick reminder, Lua does not see a difference between real numbers and integers. To create a Boolean variable, we assign the values true or false to an identifier. If you use speech marks with these values, they will not work and will instead be stored as a string. In the example below, we've created a Boolean variable 
with the identifier pupil attendance and assign the value to true. An important note for Python programmers is that true and false are all lowercase in the Lua programming language. Now it's over to you for a coding task. On your REPL assignments, you will see an assignment called Task 1.4, Lua Data Types. Create a suitable variable under each comment in the code. A comment begins with a double hyphen. Pause this video and resume when you have handed in the assignment on Replit. This week we have looked at different data types and why we need to use them in computer programming. We have looked at the four different types of data and their purposes. We have also learned to use the local keyword at the beginning of our variable declarations in the Lua programming language. Next week we'll look at operations and strings and number variables. See you next week.